but Ryan Newman has dusted the field at Bristol Motor Speedway and Newman wins the University of Northwestern Ohio perfect storm 150. Ryan Newman led seven times for 107 laps in scoring his fourth career modified win. Here is Daryl Waltrip coming down through the tri-oval and taking the checkered flag. Daryl Waltrip wins the Western Auto Shootout 2. And Ken Schrader, despite the fact that he's out of fuel, does finish in second position. Now they're coming up on a lap car. I don't know if they'll catch it before they get back to the start finish line, but it's going to be awfully close. Oh, here goes Mike outside. on the outside. Mike Wallace trying to make and he has it. He has it. He ran out of fuel, did he? I don't know. It looked like 33 car ran out of fuel. Ran out of fuel coming off the And Mike Wallace will win his first ARCA event of 1995. And Barry Owen and the team borrowed a car. off the final corner his first arca win in his third start the 34th different driver to win at pocono and it's kyle larson becoming the 17th different driver to win in the last 17 races here with arca at pocono first arca start first arca poll and first trip to an arc of victory lane. Talk about the recovery from Paul Andrews and your guys over what took place on Wednesday. Man, that was a fun race there. I uh, forgot what it's like to be able to pit and drive through the field and have some fun, but... Uh... Every time he drive by, he probably thought something was gonna happen and never did, so as a result, Michael Waltrip wins this race. 312 laps, the Winston West 500 kilometer event. He takes the first place prize of $17,000, plus all the contingencies that go along with it. No points for him, he's not in the points battle. Andy Petrie getting some congratulations down there. He owns a racing team, and Kenny Schrader will take the lion's share of $196,839 purse in the Auto Club 200. leading by a comfortable margin coming off corner number four and in his very first Winston West race Johnny Benson wins Schrader second and Brendan gone third in the California Pontiac wide track Grand Prix 200. Here comes Kyle Busch he's been able to get by the slower lap traffic and put on a dominant performance in his first ever NASCAR Camping World Tour Series race Kyle Busch will win in Iowa. Joey Logano, winner of the Thunder Valley Casino Resort 200, took on four tires, and that was the key to the win. Let's go down now to Pat Patterson. Who would have ever thought that Joey Logano would be king of the road out here at Sonoma? Congratulations. Nice job by David Gillen. Had great strategy, pitted on that caution flag. Some people thought it might have been a little bit too early. He stretched the fuel to the end. The pick and pull racing to stop hunger 200's complete. David Gillen's the winner. We'll hear from him when we come back.